Hello and welcome to Leeds Railway Station. Right behind me there is a Class 91 electric locomotive and hopefully you can see a fair few of them today because I'm going to carry on the video looking at railway stations between Leeds and Doncaster. I'm actually waiting for the 1148 Northern service to take us to Fitzwilliam. I'm going to explain more when I get to Fitzwilliam. So this is Fitzwilliam Railway Station. Yes, I've said it right this time, not Fitzwilliam. Now, in a previous video, I filmed the stations from Leeds to Fitzwilliam and then went to Moorthorpe afterwards. We're going to carry on the journey to Doncaster, calling at three stations along the way, South Emsall, Adwick and Bentley. So that's what today's video is going to be about, filming those three stations as I head down towards Doncaster. So when I did leave the Fitzwilliam Railway Station, it was nice and sunny but then went cloudy. Today though, it's light rain showers. You just can't win with the British weather, can you? But anyway, a couple of things to mention south of Fitzwilliam Railway Station is that there is a junction that takes trains towards Sheffield by Moorfall, which is known as South Kirby or South Kirkby Junction. We still don't have the right pronunciation for that yet. But before that junction, there is actually a disused railway station just after some passing loops called Hemsworth. I just want to mention that briefly before we head to South Elmsall on the 1244 Northern service to Doncaster. So after leaving Fitzwilliam and passing South Kirkby or South Kirby Junction, whichever how you pronounce it, we've reached South Emsall Railway Station and this station only has an hourly service between Doncaster and Leeds with the Class 331 EMUs calling at this location. All you get here is some freight trains, the Northern Stopping Trains and the London North Eastern Railway Azumas or Class 91s passing through here. So South Emsall Railway Station was opened by the Rest Rising and Grinsby Joint Railway which was an independent company but it was also sponsored by the Great Northern Railway and the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. So also something to point out is that roughly about 15-20 minute walk away from South Elmsall Railway Station is Moorthorpe Railway Station. One day I will do that walk to be honest, but anyway, I'm not walking to the next station because I'm catching the 1350 Northern service to take me to Adwick, which is the next station down the line. So I'm now at the second station out of three that I'm stopping off at today. This is Adwick Railway Station. And honestly, you do get a bit more services here than you do at South Emsall, because you do get a service that terminates here from Sheffield by Doncaster, operated by Sprinter Trains. I think at one point, services were done by the train that never dies. That's right, I couldn't resist plug a pacer train in this blog. But also you do get the lead services from Doncaster stopping here as well. Adwick Station, it's opened in March 1866 by the Rest Riding and Grinsby Joint Railway. However though, on the 6th of November, 
1966, the station actually closed. It didn't reopen until the 11th of October, 1993. So just north of Adwick Station is actually a triangle junction. The first junction is actually called Carcroft Junction. And the junction after that is called Adwick Junction. They both take trains onto a freight O line which goes on towards Gunthorpe. But the funny thing is this station actually was relayed twice. Because in 1867 it was relayed to Adwick Lee Street and Carcroft. And in 1880 it was relayed to Carcroft and Adwick Lee Street. Between Adwick and Doncaster is a station called Bentley and I am waiting for the 1456 Northern service to go to Bentley which is the next station down the line. Also Adwick, I met a nice person called Danny here as well so if you are watching this Danny, hello to you as well. Anyway, my train should be arriving now to take us one stop down the line to Bentley. So we're now reached Bentley Station, this is the last station before you get to Doncaster and the services will add to Sheffield stop here and also your services from Doncaster to Leeds stop here as well. Future Simon here. Yes it does have a 30 minute service during the week but on a Sunday it actually has an hourly service. What's unusual about Bentley Railway Station is just right behind me here. There's a little crossing down there which is good because I do love the level crossings. So with the financial backing of the South Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive, British Rail opened Bentley Station on the 27th of April 1992. However though, there was another station here, but it was a halt, a workman's halt, named Bentley Crossing Halt. And that opened in 1914, but that closed in 1943. So the time at Bentley's nearly up and honestly it has really been good at this location. We've also got 91127 through here as well. Now I'm waiting for the 1600 Northern service to take me to Doncaster. Because I'm going to use Doncaster's turnaround to get back to Leeds. So I'm now at Doncaster Railway Station waiting for the this, next train to arrive this at train that they're going to announce right now. 1643 London North East of Railway Service going back to Leeds. I was trying to get this done at Doncaster but kept getting interrupted by announcements. But the class 91 in front is actually 91111 for the Fallen. If you remember at the start of the video we did see that at Leeds Railway Station. So this video has kind of gone in full circle and this class 91 is taking me up to Leeds.
So I'm now back at Leeds Railway Station. Class 91 111 for the Fallen has taken us back to Leeds from Doncaster. And it has really been a fun ride up the East Coast Main Line, the Leeds branch of it. But we have been on the Wakefield Line today as well, visiting the three railway stations that I didn't visit last time from Fitzwilliam, South Emsall, Adwick and Bentley. We see some Class 91 electric locomotives. It has really been a brilliant day. And what made it better was, because I thought it was going to be raining all day, but surprisingly the rain stopped after Fitzwilliam. So it has really been a good day. I'm going to pop a video right here if you want to watch that one. It's another Yorkshire trip. I've been Simon Trains. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the rails for a new journey in the future.